Hi, my name is Bobby Vincent. I am a management information systems student at the Bauer College of Business at the University of Houston. In this video, I will talk about the resource-based view model, specifically Barney's resource-based view of the firm model. This model states that a firm can gain a competitive advantage based upon its unique set of organizational resources. If those resources are valuable, rare, and perfectly inimitable, and are non-substitutable. So the first characteristic is value. When a firm is able to develop or implement strategies that will improve its effectiveness and efficiency. One example of a valuable resource would be a company's branding. Apple, for instance, have customers that are much more likely to be repeat customers. This is due to brand loyalty they've been able to achieve over the years through sales of their Macintosh PCs in the iPhone and iPod products. The next characteristic is rare. The resources zone must be exclusive in order to achieve a competitive advantage or sustained competitive advantage. An example of rarity would be a company's culture. Google specifically has developed a unique culture that allows employees to enjoy a work environment in which they are able to customize. In addition, Google provides various amenities in order to integrate the social and professional aspects of their employees' lives. Next, we have inimitable. The idea here is that the resource is not easily reproduced or copied by competing companies. A good modern day example of this would be Apple's iOS software. This is proprietary software only available for use with Apple products and gives them a competitive advantage. They've developed something that people love and are loyal to, while competing companies have not been able to do the same. Lastly, we have non-substitutable characteristics. An example of this would be patents. Patents allow an original idea to belong to the owner between 6 and 20 years. By maintaining ownership of an idea, other companies cannot produce the same products without permission. Resource-based view has been criticized for ignoring factors related to resources, such as how they are developed and integrated into the firm. The dynamic capabilities perspective was recently introduced to extend the scope of the resource-based view. RBV tends to emphasize resource choice while the dynamic capabilities perspective emphasizes resource development and renewal. Finally, we want to mention asymmetries. An asymmetry is typically a skill, process, or asset that a firm's com competitors cannot easily duplicate at an affordable cost. So essentially, it's taking or discovering something within your firm and turning it into an invaluable resource that competitors will not be able to duplicate. The majority of the time, firms don't set out to find these asymmetries. They just tend to stumble upon them. So what have we learned? We have learned that in order for companies to sustain competitive advantage, the resources they utilize must be valuable, rare, inimitable, or non-substitutable. Companies can also create their own competitive advantage by developing on their existing resources, which we have defined as being in asymmetry. In short, to be highly successful, a company must find their niche, a specialty that makes them a unique and valuable choice for the customers they seek.